Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's movie vlog. I am the critic who is a cynic, and holy crap. All right, so guys, um, if you haven't been following this channel for a while, um, I first off say welcome to the channel. I mean, it's just been absolutely crazy how many people have just been showing support and love, and it's just like, seriously, it's been amazing. But like, that's not what, that is not the most exciting news about today. Today, the news is all about John Wick Chapter 3. So getting back to what I was saying, if you have not been following the channel, then you don't Probably not have seen my most anticipated movies of 2019 list. Some of you may have said, oh, well, of course it was Endgame. No. My most anticipated film, and that has now been confirmed by this trailer, is without any question in my, in my head whatsoever, is John Wick Chapter 3. Holy crap, guys. This trailer is fantastic. It is set to um, just classic music. I, I mean, uh, I just, I, there's seriously, there are no words. So let me just try and, whew, just finished it. Um, just need to calm down, calm down, calm down. It's okay. Anyway, guys, if you've never seen John Wick, it is one of the best modern day action films ever. It's one of the best universes that's ever been built in the last like 10 years. And to me, it's iconic. I, I honestly cannot wait for the trilogy to come out officially with behind the scenes stuff, with bonus features, all this. Like this is the kind of thing that I will buy. This is the kind of thing that I will spend money on to get all the extra features to get every single thing possible so I can know more about this universe. And that's the reason why I just love this movie so much is because the universe that they've been able to build over three films is just... It's just fantastic. I mean, you have the first film, which is basically nothing more than a revenge movie. It's all about how, uh, you know, John Wick, who had just lost his wife, the, the last thing that his wife gave him was a dog. The dog gets killed by a home invasion. Little did they know that they just killed the dog of one of the most deadliest assassins in world history, Keanu Reeves, John Wick. John Wick goes back in the business. He had gone out for love. He comes back in. He whoops ass. And then, of course, sets us up because he kills a lot of people, sets us up for him to have to get even more revenge on more people who didn't like what he did in John Wick 1 and John Wick 2, which eventually leads to the penultimate, uh, just, oh my gosh, like, the crescendo in John Wick 2 is just absolutely amazing because it ends with John Wick, essentially, as the trailer suggests. So if you've not seen anything else from John Wick, again, I've given you basic plot points to this point, and you don't want to see any spoilers, you want to find out for yourself, then you can stop watching now. But at the end of John Wick 2, what happens is that he kills on the grounds of the continent. He kills on holy ground. So one of the coolest things about this entire franchise is the use of a hotel chain called the Continentals. And what's truly amazing about it is the fact that it, no matter what country you're in, no matter where you are, there is this hotel that is meant solely and purely for assassins. And it just, they, they just gave you a taste. They gave you a little bit of what it was going to be in John Wick Chapter 2. And then all of a sudden... He kills on that ground. You had found out in chapter two, you don't do that. You like, you never go into that at all. I mean, they had just barely, I mean, basically they scratch the service in one. They give you a little bit more, like a little bit more substance in two. Boom, he kills on ground. And at that point, the rules come into play. There is a law. There is a universal law that you have to follow. John Wick breaks it. And therefore he becomes, as you hear in the trailer, excommunicado, which means that he can no longer take advantage of any of the services. He can no longer be protected. And now there's a bounty. There's a multi-million dollar bounty on his head and every single assassin is going to try and cash in on that bounty and that is what this trailer is all about that's what parabellum is going to be about and oh my god all i have to say is john wick is on a horse keanu reeves rides a horse in this trailer john wick rides a horse in this trailer and oh my god this i mean i i don't there really isn't the only bad thing the only negative thing that i can say about this trailer is halle berry that's because i don't like halle berry i don't think that she's a good actress but she is limited enough in this trailer to a small segment and if they're able to keep her contained if they're able to keep her on a very short leash then this film could be one of the best films ever i am just so excited for it seriously this is by far my favorite trilogy so far and i haven't even seen three yet and i think that three is already gonna be awesome keanu reeves has done so many amazing things the money that he's made from these films he's like bought like expensive cars and and motorcycles for all of his stunt team because of the work and how just like Keanu Reeves is just an awesome dude and, and I'm really sad that he had this movie called Replicas that came out last week you probably haven't even heard of it at this point but he had a movie that came out and it did terrible just because it was definitely a cash grab for him but this this is a passion project this is a project that he loves that he cares about he doesn't just phone in he gives it his all he dedicates his time to it and guess what he cares about the people that he works with as well so I'm gonna leave a link to this trailer below and I, again if you've never if you have not ever seen John Wick 1 or 2, do yourself a favor and watch it immediately. 
Watch them now. Watch them this weekend because you will not be disappointed. It's some of the best action ever. <laughs> it's just, it truly is amazing. Some amazing stunt work too. Like in, in the age of CGI where all fights are CGI and everything like that, this is awesome because you use actual real life stunt men, stunt women who are doing these things and it looks incredible. It looks absolutely incredible. This trailer looks great. Cannot wait to see this movie. Uh, Keanu Reeves looks like a badass again. And again, John Wick on a horse. Whew. Anyway, this is a little bit different than the videos that I've been making lately. I haven't done a lot of trailer reactions. And the reason why I don't do live trailer reactions is because I just personally have never really liked it because I, I, I want to watch the trailer and not talk about it until I've actually seen it. But also, too, they copyright, they copyright claim you all the time. And so I'm just like, uh, I'd rather just leave a link to it, talk about it, and then if you see the trailer and you want to see the trailer, then you can watch this video after. Should have said that at the very beginning. But anyway, if you've been with me this far, thank you so much for watching. Like this video, smash that like button, give me a sub, give me it, you know, whatever. Oh, I'm sorry. I am just, as I said, slowing down for a second. I know, I, sp I speak too fast, guys. I know. I know this about myself. When I was laying out the films for what I cannot wait to see, this was number one. For the longest time, I was like, oh, Endgame, Endgame. I knew that John Wick 3 was coming out. I forgot that it was coming out this year. And so when I was putting my list together, Endgame was at the top. For a long time but then all of a sudden i went through the, my list i went through all the years you know all the movies that are getting released this year and boom there it was john wick chapter three we finally have a trailer for <laughs> for john wick three parabellum coming out may 17th 2019 so this is getting a prime release date may is an amazing month may is when some of the biggest movies ever have come out i hope john wick three makes bank and the reason why i love this universe so much is because of the fact, I know that I've already done my outro, but seriously, like, I just have to say it. The reason why I love this universe so much is because of the fact that it is a universe that you can continue on in different stories. John Wick 3 is the story of John Wick and his, and his journey. And to me, it's going to be a perfect trilogy. But they're already conceiving a Starz TV series called The Continental, all about the hotel system, all about the underground of this world that was built in John Wick. I want to see that. I, I want to see that. I want to see more of it. I want to see them dive further into the lore. I want to see them dive further and tell new stories. This, to me, is a universe that's been so beautifully built over three films that they can continue this story. They can continue this universe without John Wick. And I am just so excited for it. John Wick 3, let it stay at that. You know, just keep it a trilogy. Don't make any more films. And, oh, my God. Guys, seriously, watch it. It's so damn good. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and as always, God bless.